Hello Balloon World, I'm your balloon twister, Michael Floyd, and today I want to teach you how to make a three balloon guitar. This is a great design because it's fast and simple, makes it perfect for line and restaurant work. And it's really impressive. Nobody will believe that you can make a balloon guitar this quickly, that looks this good. And there are so many great jokes and puns that can go along with it. I mean, come on, air guitar, one right there. All right, so let me walk you through how we make it. Let's review the balloons you will need. They're all 260s. I like a two-tone color scheme. So you'll need two 260s of one color. I'm gonna be using red for the body and one 260 of another color. I'm using black for the neck. The first part of the guitar we're gonna make is the body. Get the 260s that you will use. I'm gonna be using red. Inflate it about all the way and then let a little bit of air out to make it soft. This helps because there's not gonna be any slack in there, but because it's soft, we have the room for the few twists that we're gonna be using. Do that to both 260s. Okay, the next step, we make a small flower petal. It's gonna be about three inches tall, two inches wide, followed by a regular size pinch twist. That's about an inch. Pinch twist over. Now we do that with the other balloon too. Small flower petal, followed by a pinch twist. And now you should have two. The next step, we make the top part of the guitar. You're gonna to wanna to make it about six inches wide. And then this part here, we're gonna twist into this pinch twist here. Now make sure you don't get your two sections of balloon confused. Whichever one's longest, this one here, is the one that you're gonna wanna go back across and twist it at that same length. So this one here should be the same length as this one here. Twist it like so. And then we have the top part of our guitar. Next step, you're gonna to wanna to use about a hand's length, but you know, I have special hands. It's gonna be about four inches. It's the size of my hand there. And you wanna do that to both sides. This can be tricky, because you have to hold on to one side while you twist the other. But those two sections should be about the same length. Now, we twist another section, about that same length, about four inches on one of those sides. And we're gonna twist this section here into this section here. Now, using the longer part again, we're gonna follow it through on the other side. Twist the section about four inches, fold it over, should be about the same size. And you wanna twist that into there. Okay. There we have the middle part of our guitar body. The next step's real easy. You take the two ends, because they should be pretty much full now. Shouldn't be all that soft at all. At the very end here, you're gonna wanna twist two small bubbles together. You can do it with one fluid motion, or you can do them individually. But I would highly recommend you take one of the bubbles, thread it through on the other side, give it a twist, keeps it from coming undone. And that's a guitar body. I know it doesn't look much like a guitar body yet, but hold on, we're not done. Get that black 260. Inflate the black 260 about two thirds of the way. Straighten it out. Don't want a crooked neck guitar. Unless you're playing the blues. Now comes the sort of tricky part. We're gonna take this black 260, we're gonna thread it through in between those two right there. And we're gonna thread it through just a little bit, those two right there. Now this part here, we're gonna twist into this part here by bending it forward and taking that knot, and wrapping it around and into there. Now it sometimes will wanna kink on you like that. Just adjust it. Ooh, that's so tight I might be able to actually play it as a guitar. 
if it does this on you, it's too tight, pull it down a little bit more. And if you feel like it's going to pop, go ahead and give it a squeeze. Make it a little softer. Pull that in. Wrap it around a few more times. There we go. Much better. Straighten it out. Once again, if this part here is kinked on you, just go ahead and try to straighten that out a little bit. There we are. And now we have the neck of our guitar. The only part left to finish off is the top part of the guitar. And for that, we like to go up a long length, however long you want the neck of your guitar. You know, you want a short neck guitar, you can do it there. You want a really long neck guitar, you can do it way up here. But I think it looks better with a little bit of a shorter neck. So go about yay big high. There's no exact measurements, it's whatever you think looks good. We're gonna twist it off there. Now we're gonna make two small flower petals by small, about two inches in diameter and height. They should be roughly about the same size. I like to make them look pretty symmetrically round, so each flower petal should look like a little circle. Now for the next part, it's going to be the top part, just a big flower petal. You're going to want to be about twice the size of those small ones we just made. So about four inches in height. Twist it around. Now if you have a leftover piece like that, inflate the air down to the end, twist it off between your uh, finger and thumb, snap it off. Let the air out slowly. Take that slack and wrap it up. There we go. Then you just straighten it up a little bit. All right, and there we have a three balloon guitar, all made out of 260s, so it's economical. It can be made really fast. I can make this in about a minute and a half, maybe two minutes if I'm, if I'm feeling tired like apparently I am now. <laughs> but it's a fun balloon to make. And there we have an authentic balloon air guitar. For more balloon instructions, go to balloon-animals.com.